Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about the newest controversy with Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court. And this is a really interesting one uh, because it follows a pattern, and we will describe that pattern, and we will describe why I think it's bullshit. Now, as we go through the story, you can tell that it would be impossible to objectively prove or disprove this story, but the, the summary of it is that Apparently, when Brett Kavanaugh was 17 years old, so still in high school, he allegedly sexually assaulted uh, a woman. And this conveniently comes out right before he is supposed to get nominated. How convenient. I am sure that is just a coincidence and that the woman is telling the truth and that the claim is valid. The timing? Nah, it's just a coincidence. We should believe all accusers. We should believe all victims, no matter what. There are so many holes with the story. There are so many holes with the timing. There are so many holes with everything in general about this. And you expect normal people to buy this. Democrats will lap this up. Democrats, have, they already uh, have, have been pulling, uh, pushing to uh, delay the committee votes because we, we can't have a sexual uh, assaulter on the Supreme Court. That, that, that would be horrible. What, and also, what a coincidence. But regular people will just be like, um, they were in high school. This happened decades and decades ago. I believe in the 1980s, the article said. Brett Kavanaugh is 53 years old. You're telling me he did this way when he was 17. And we're supposed to believe this one with no evidence whatsoever. We're supposed to believe, even though, now let's say... Now, why do I not believe this? Well, because of the timing. The Democrats have been pushing to not let Kavanaugh into the uh, Supreme Court ever since, even, even before Donald Trump said his name in the first place. There's that infamous letter, the infamous letter from lots of senators condemning his choice. No, it wasn't from senators. It was from Planned Parenthood, I think I believe it was, the organization, who they were condemning his choice, and they forgot to put the name in there because they wrote it before he even chose the person. Even before Kavanaugh had been picked, they have been gunning to not let Donald Trump put a person in the Supreme Court because they believe that is fascist, if he's literally Hitler, and, they, and if he does that, he will literally kill thousands of women. Now, you think that's hyperbole? You think I'm uh, exaggerating that? No. Look at some of the ads that some of these radical leftist groups are putting up with these women putting these signs up like, if Kavanaugh is elected, then I am dead. And, I, and it is not satire, it is not being sarcastic, they honestly believe that. They honestly believe this person is going to murder thousands of women because he doesn't want abortion just to be free and open for everyone. He wants some limitations on it. The irony that they think that he is going to kill women by saying to all these bloodthirsty savages, no, you can't kill babies indiscriminately, there has to be limitations like rape, incest, the mother's life's in danger, whatever. There has to be limitations. You can't just do it whenever and however you want. Apparently, and that would in turn save thousands and thousands of fetuses every year, apparently that's murdering women. Not letting bloodthirsty savage women murder who, whoever they want is apparently murdering women in their fucked up heads. Their batshit crazy minds. That's the reality they live in. So, let's go into it. So, so back to my point of, uh, so the, the uh, Democrats have been trying to do, to stop him for quite some time. They failed every single turn because they don't attack him on his past record. They hyperbolize things, say he's going to murder women, he's going to set back women's rights, uh, he's uh, a plant, Donald Trump's plan to take over, uh, all sectors of government, you know, he works for a fascist, he'll be implemented by a fascist, whatever, whatever. All of these things to the ordinary... Regular Americans are sitting here just like, are you fucking kidding me? This is the most pathetic attempt to stop a nominee I, ha I have ever seen. It is so pathetic. No one but the radical leftist takes this seriously. This is all a freaking joke. So if I was a Democrat and I was retarded, well, <laughs> it's the same thing, <laughs> and I tried to stop this guy no matter what, and it was like 11th hour, he's going to get nominated any time now, it's like, well, what can I do to stop the nomination? I know, I'll make a, a sexual assault claim against him. I saw this in another tweet, or I can't find it. Um, I, mean, I think it was a Facebook comment. How these radical leftist women are weaponized, weaponizing 
sexual assault. Now, what does that mean? What they're doing is they're using it as a political weapon. They're just using the accusing someone of that as a way to stop him from being nominated, which it worked. They, they put the uh, nomination on, on hold. Now, it might only last a few days. But it's just like, you are... This is not genuine. This is not about the crime at all. This is using, twisting people's emotion and the emotion attached to hearing that a woman's being sexually assaulted. They're trying to twist that emotion into political power. They are weaponizing it. That's what, that's what the comment meant by that. First of all, that's pathetic. Second of all, that's insulting to all the people, men and women, who have been victims of sexual assault using their, the crime that was, uh, committed against them whenever it happened, to use that just to further your own gains. That is very sickening, pathetic, and it's insulting. But these radical Democrats, they don't give a shit about that. They don't give a shit about anything except gaining power. And that's what they will bend over, they, they will tumble over themselves, head over heels, trying to stop Donald Trump from putting another person in the Supreme Court because that's less political power from them. Supreme Court will more likely side with re Republicans in issues that they take, or take a more conservative uh, stance against it, if he, if, pre, if Brett is put on there. And they will do whatever it takes and, and abandon all morals in the sake, for the sake of political power. That's just how disgusting it is. And that's what I'm calling out in this video, is just that you expect me to believe that this actually happened, and that just so happened to be uh, announced to the public, announced to the media, right before he gets nominated. Do you, do you think we're stupid? And like I said before, yes, it could theoretically happen, or it theoretically could have happened. But the timing is too coincidental. Um, the fact that it happened so long ago, and the fact that the Democrats have a history of doing this. It's the boy who cried wolf so many times, and when the time actually does happen, they, people don't believe him. That's the same thing that's happening here. All of those women who accused Donald Trump of doing all those things against them, not a single one got a conviction. What a coincidence. What a coincidence that in the months before running up to the election, that's when it ramped up the most, there were dozens and dozens of, of women accusing him of it. What a coincidence, right? And then after he uh, got the election, silence for months. Of all those women shut the fuck up. They didn't say anything because their goal of stopping him from being the president failed. That's the signs of all, that's the sign that tells me, oh, it was just politically motivated. Because after he got the White House, you guys shut up. Some of them still went on, most of them stopped. What a coincidence, right? How many times have I said, what a coincidence that all of these things happen A, B, C, D every single time. That the, that the Republicans try and do something and Democrats weaponize the claim of sexual assault against men in order to try to stop their opponents from getting power and to gain power themselves. Now during this story, the women who accused Kavanaugh of doing this said that there was a friend during when this happened who uh, they were goofing off, they were drunk at a party, whatever, whatever. So the friend was also there doing all this too. I would love to hear this friend give his or her side of the story. Now, it would, wouldn't be just one person. It could still be a conspiracy. Two people could lie. It's not like it's out of the ordinary. It happens all the time. But then, again, the coincidence would be lessened. Like, let's say, hypothetically, it happened in public and 30 people saw it. Do you believe that 30 people at the same time coordinated this at the same time? Yeah, again, it's possible. It's less, like, significantly less likely than one person making it up. The article continues, Critics have accused re uh, Republicans of fast-tracking the process to get Kavanaugh seated on the court ahead of the first day of the fall term, October 1st. <laughs> the people in government are actually trying to do something fast or a normal speed for once, and then cr people are criticizing for it. It's just like, no, th no, no. Things do not take 10,000 fucking years. The government doesn't have to be that slow. But it is because it's full of retards. Burdened down by government regulations and all these rules that make no sense. So the one time the Republicans actually try to do something fast, and they're like, oh no, you're fast-tracking it. It has to take a long amount of time. Oh my god, you're, are you kidding me with this stuff? This is so dumb. This is like, this was the top news article on Google. 
like the, the most important political one, it was at the very top in, in the politics section. It's a joke, just like so many other trending Google uh, news um, subjects are complete jokes. This is what politics have come down to. Jokes. Anyone with half a brain can look at this and just like, this means absolutely nothing. It's just virtue signaling. It's just gerrymandering. It's just, tr just trying to appear like you're doing something important instead of actually addressing the issues. Now, another uh, interesting thing is that uh, Dianne Feinstein, our lovely lady, Dianne Feinstein, who looks like a hag, like a harpy, um, and wants to take away all your guns. She's one of the biggest uh, gun control uh, supporters in the um, in the government currently. So that should tell you everything you know about her. She loves taking away uh, um, other people's guns, but she has armed guards on 24-7. That, that's beside the point. She found out this information two months ago in July. She found out about this claim two months ago, and she waited until the 11th hour to tell anyone about it. Again, what a coincidence. Now, she came up with the excuse, well, I was looking into it. Again, that's possible. You know, you hear a claim, you don't automatically say anything about it. You take time to figure out whether it's true or not. But again, what a coincidence that you just happened to get everything in order when you checked it out. That just happened to be the 11th hour. Again, it could be true. But the fact that the Democrats constantly wait till, to the um, 11th hour, case in point, they wait till the run-up to the election. That's all people were talking about with all these sexual assault claims against Donald Trump. What a coincidence that that wrapped up, that ramped up, close to the election. What a surprise you wait until the 11th hour in order to delay his confirmation. Again, a pattern. They do this every single time because they are pathetic. And why are people scared of Brett Kavanaugh so much? You haven't heard about him before Donald Trump nominated him, have you? No, he's just been a normal judge all this time. What a coincidence. But secretly, he wants to murder women. And that's why we can't have him on the Supreme Court. Because he's going to murder thousands, if not tens of thousands of women. Because he won't let them kill their babies. This is the world we live in. Stopping murder is murder. Just... This is why I don't take them seriously. If you cannot even be on the same plane of reality, how can I have a conversation about with you about issues like this? It's impossible. And then in the interview, uh, the lady said she never revealed what happened to her until 2012. Again, what a coincidence that you didn't say anything for 30 plus years. And then part of the, she said this in therapy, in couples therapy, and then part of the notes, she didn't note Kavanaugh by name. Again, what a coincidence that you just said that you were attacked by some fellow students. You only mentioned Kavanaugh's name two seconds ago. Again, all these coincidences that make it seem less like an actual person describing something that actually happened to them versus political motivated weaponizing sexual assault claims.